On the last stop of my Moroccan itinerary, I headed to Tangier, where the Mediterranean meets the Atlantic, and you can see hints of Europe in this Moroccan city. Come along on a tour of this cultural melting pot. So just on the bus from Shoshawan to Tangier. I'll be there for like maybe a few nights. I've been having such an awesome time here. I don't really want to leave, but I know that I'll be coming back one day. But for now, heading to Tangier, and the bus ride there is beautiful. Made it to Shantir. Since it was one of my last stops on my journey, I wanted to stay at a beautiful place, so I picked Ria Tingis, which had an amazing rooftop and views. I knew I made the right decision when I was welcomed with Moroccan mint tea. Hello from Tangier. I made it from Shafshawan to Tangier. It was about a three hour bus journey. It went quicker actually than I expected it. And guess where I'm sitting? On top of a lovely Riyadh. And they brought me tea and cake to begin my journey through Tangier, a city that has been full of writers, creatives, and expats that have come here to call this place home for summer part or all of their life. I'm very excited to take you along with me as we explore Tangier and Riyadh Tingis together. This is beautiful. We have the Casbah over my right shoulder. Wow, and this is definitely the windy city, by the way. Uh, that's what the guy told me. He said it's been straight wind for a month. But yes, so we have the sea right there and off in the distance, you can see Spain. You can see Tarifa, Spain. It's right there, not far away. But we have the Casbah over there, and there's some famous cafes here. My, um, not my guide, actually, the guy who runs the Hostel Omar, he was telling me that you can go to Cafe Hefa, Cafe Baba. I need to re like look this up, but that's where people like the Beatles have come. Famous people. I think Anthony Bourdain came to Tangier. I need to rewatch his episode. But I'm so glad I'm here for three nights to explore this lovely city. And this Riyadh is so amazing. I think we have one of the best rooftops, I have to say. I mean, I haven't been to the other rooftops, but this looks pretty darn good. With an amazing view like this, I think we're going to have an awesome stay in Tangier. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you are interested in going to Morocco, one day I really do want to lead group trips. My time here in Morocco is coming to a close, but I really, really want to come back and bring you guys with me too. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and we can organize a group trip to Morocco. Who would not want to come to this amazing country after you've seen this series, right? Cute, we have some cakes and some Moroccan mint tea with an awesome view. Check this out, guys. I cannot get over this, and I'm getting some work done as well. Well, I enjoy my tea. I mean, I have such a good setup right now. Tea, cake, and my laptop. An amazing Wi-Fi. So let's get started and explore some of Tangier after I have this snack. <laughs> Wow, this is something. I can see Spain, hear the call to prayer here as well, and just be able to hear it echo and see the Mediterranean Sea over here. And on the other side of this is the Atlantic. There's just so much happening here. I am really excited to finally be in Tangier. After tea and cake, it was time to see my room, which was ready. Welcome to Riyadh Tingis. And we're here. I'm in the Omaima suite. And I am in love, as you can see behind me. All the rooms face the interior of the building. And light comes in through the top. But first, let me show you my room. Here we are. There is a large king bed, air conditioning a desk and a little flat screen TV, a mirror, of course. And I love the bright colors in here. Also a nice seating area. This room is huge and I really like it because you can separate where you just relax, maybe read a magazine or just hang out on your bed. But yes, there's also, Riyadh's are so unique and interesting. There's also this window that allows natural light in from above in the roof, but gives you privacy of the inside. And then we have the bathroom. 
And there's a really, really nice tile work in here. A shower, hair dryer, beautiful mosaic sink. And we also have a bidet and a toilet. But yes, I'm really excited to go off and venture and see Tangier, this place. I've been wanting to come to it since I saw an episode of Anthony Bourdain. I think it was Parts Unknown or one of the layover ones where he came here. And I remember watching it with my mom and I was like, oh, I wanna go to Tangier. And there is such a unique cultural scene happening here because you have Spain so close by. Many, many like writers, poets, creatives have called this place home for part or all their life. And now I'm here. I feel like this is a perfect place for me to start saying goodbye to Morocco, but it's not a goodbye because I will be coming back because Morocco is amazing and I'm half Moroccan, so I need to be back. I love it here so much because I'm born in the US and I have a lovely, beautiful country, but I also have a beautiful country here now. And I've had such an amazing experience from the people that I've met and I just don't wanna say goodbye, but I might have to for now. But this is a beautiful room and I definitely recommend this place because it has one of the best views of like the entirety of Tangier. But for now, let's get going and start exploring the rest of this awesome city so far. Walking through the streets, I could see hints of Europe as I was heading to Cafe Hefe. Wanting to make the most of the day, I went there for but sunset. Yes, this park is just close by to Cafe Hefe and we're almost there. It looks like a pretty nice neighborhood in Tangier. One thing you get when you walk around places is that you see things you would not have had on your list. There's some Marshall Park here and a lot of areas to sit and just have a drink and enjoy the park and fresh air. But right now, I'm just heading to Cafe Hafa, which is right in front of me, and I see the ocean. So it's really, really windy, but this place is beautiful. You see the coastline, there's a road that wraps along the bottom and a malecon below. And everybody just watching the sunset. On my way to Cafe Hafa, I'm seeing a lot of cool places, including over my shoulder and the ocean behind me. It's definitely a beautiful place and then I'm gonna go get some coffee and chill. So made it to the Cafe Hafa. It's been here since like 1921. Super old and famous. So let's go see why it is so famous. So I'm here at Cafe Hafa and I just got some mint tea. Very sticky because it's very sweet, but the sunset here is pretty cool. Even though you don't actually see the sunset, the sky is really beautiful. Check it out. But now I'm gonna start heading back to the Medina before it gets too dark and find some food because I am really hungry. I didn't even eat lunch right now, so I need food. But for now, let's go start exploring more of Tangier. <laughs> But, wow. Okay, so I'm here at Restaurant Bajir and I have some Herrera soup, Moroccan salad, chicken and legumes, liver, and two, what do we have? Two bruschettes, viand, and yes, a lot of food to eat. But for now, I'm gonna dine and have a feast. After enjoying the company, my new friend, she invited me out the next Day, so I went to bed early to wake up for an adventure. So are you paying a picture of your face? Face I wasn't even close to my The sun is up. It was such a peaceful morning and now I'm just waiting for breakfast. But I love, love this terrace at Via Tingis. And I'm really excited to take you along with me for some exploring around Tangier today. Enjoy your milk. 
Good morning. After waking up to see an awesome, relaxing sunrise in Tangier, I came back up after getting ready to get breakfast and look how much food we have here. So amazing, some orange juice, yogurt, grapes, pancakes, some sweets, bread, an egg, as well as coffee with milk. Definitely so much, and this will definitely fill me up for a full day of exploring. I might be going to the Hercules Caves, which are the most northern point of all of mainland Africa. Then I'm also going to probably check out the Casbah Museum, the American Legion Museum at some point, Cafe Baba. There's really so much to do here. I'm here for three nights. Just had one night. Yesterday was amazing. Went to restaurant Bashir and met up with somebody at Cafe Hefa. So, so far been a good trip and a relaxing time, but I'm going to dig in because I have a lot to eat before I start exploring. After a delicious breakfast, it was time to go meet the group to head on our day trip. So we just ate at the Grand Cafe Central and we're right in the Medina. And this area is very cool. It has almost a European cafe culture, but this place was awesome. I ate at my hotel, but I got some coffee and it's right in the Medina, so I definitely recommend it if you come. But for now, we're heading to the Hercules Cafe. I met up with some people from this hostel that's not far from my hotel. And yeah, just heading now to check out the place. Just heading to the taxi cab stand. I don't know where it is, but we've been walking for like 10 minutes but hopefully we'll find it soon. And then we're off to the Hercules Caves and stuff. It's a beautiful, moderate climate here and I'm ready to go explore. Guys, this is the, the mosque, uh, Muhammad V, uh, which is the biggest mosque in Sanja. The ride was no longer than 30 minutes to get out to the Hercules Caves. So just arrived by Grand Taxi to the her beginning of the Hercules Caves. But there's some cafes it looks like. We have a store and a beautiful view. Um, this is Magaras Herak in, uh, in Darija. Yeah. Uh, in English, I think it's Hercules Cave. Cave. Yeah. And in Darija, it's Magaras uh, Herak. The Hercules Caves are actually named after Hercules himself because legend has it that he came here to complete one of his tasks. So we're heading into the Hercules Cave right now. It is definitely something, I guess, this is called the Hercules Cave because it's where Hercules came and found, like, some apples. I need to look up the story again. Ooh, it's moist. Somebody also said this cave goes all the way to Spain. Like, the cave system here, they said it goes all the way to Spain. Whoa. Another supposed myth is that these caves actually connect all the way back to Spain. Let me know in the comments and tell me what you think. Do you think that's true? And supposedly this takes a reflection of Africa. It was time to head back to the taxi for one of our last stops. We took some taxi and they said they would wait for us, so let's see if they did. And it should only cost us to go to all these places like 33 dirhams each, which is pretty good. Like that's like almost four dollars, but he's hanging out with us for a while, so I'm pretty impressed. Thank goodness I ran into these people. Yeah, so where are we heading next? Uh, to Caps Pantel. Yeah. Nice. I like Caps. So we're here in front of the lighthouse, and if you see over there, there's the most northern point facing the Atlantic Ocean from North Africa. And then you could pay 50 dirhams to go inside. Yes, you can come here and enjoy some nice views, the ocean air, and relax. This is the sign that demarcates the point between the Mediterranean Ocean as well as the Atlantic Ocean. So if you stand here, you can see the Atlantic on one side and the Mediterranean on the other. But definitely a cool place to come check out. Our last stop from our little day trip from Tangier was Park Rimela, a beautiful park known for its wildlife and views of Spain. We're here out front of this beautiful castle and I was wondering actually like what it is, but one of the girls said that the house was built by an, somebody's husband and his wife was dying, so he built this as well as the whole park around it for her. 
and it is lovely indeed. I don't know, you can't go inside of it, but it's pretty cool. We just got here to this part. Everybody is up here on the rock. That was a little bit too high for me. I can see everything I want from down here. It is beautiful. The water is really blue. And yep, you can see all the rocky coastline. It's more rocky than I expected and higher up. But this park was definitely a hidden gem I did not know about. And luckily I ran into this girl last night from Cafe Heffa and Isabella and she brought me to some of the people from her hostel. They were having breakfast and they all were doing this day trip and I just decided to go along with them and it was like very do it yourself. But it's been an awesome experience so far. So actually now my eyes can see <laughs> Tarifa Spain over there. I couldn't see it before, but it's more clear now. I just wish ship ferries were open because then we'd be able to take a ferry for like $30 or $40, I don't know, and go to Spain. But for now, we can see it. Okay guys, so I just came in this place called Le Mirage. It looks like a very nice fancy hotel. I came for the bathroom and I'm now going to stay for lunch because this place is beautiful. Check it out. They like the Marilyn Monroe section. There's a Catherine Hepburn. And there's also amazing, amazing cupcakes. Check this out. Like I am very like in love with this place. Hi. <laughs> And we also have some really beautiful cupcakes. Le Mirage Cafe is awesome. If you like sweets, beautiful decor, like florals and pop art. Like if you come in this room, it's like the Audrey Hepburn room. Everything here is just on point in terms of decor and design, but definitely I love this place. <laughs> After going around the park, it was so lovely. I'm really hungry and I just love the setting of it so I knew I had to get something. I just got my food and it looks so cute actually. I think you get a club sandwich but look at this. And everything's so cute here. I just got the Le Mirage club sandwich with cheese, roasted chicken, some sauce on it. Mm -mm. Good. Just got back from going to the parks as well as the like lighthouse and different things. And now we're just heading back into the old Medina. And that's a wrap for part one. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're made aware of part two where we'll explore the Medina of Tangier and some of the best eateries in all of the city. If you're enjoying these awesome Moroccan travel guides, then please consider checking out my Patreon link down below.